Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna talk about more cringe from climate change activists. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before I start this video, I have a few announcements that I first want to make. For example, if you want to support me financially, I have paypal.com and patreon.com. And my social media accounts, of course, are facebook.com, twitter.com, and minds.com, at TylerPreston20. In my last video talking about the cringe of climate change activists, I noticed that there were like a ton of people who were basically divided about what I said in the video. And of course, I could see why there were some people who were upset. Like, there were some people who were telling me that I was generalizing the whole entire movement. There were some people who were disagreeing me about the kids and stuff. And so naturally, since it's like a really heated topic, I was not surprised about the criticism directed towards me. However, I do believe if there's like smoke, there's fire. Like, basically, if you don't put out the smoke, the fire is spread across the forest. And so I believe that me making videos against the climate change activists is actually beneficial because ultimately I believe that criticizing your own side is actually beneficial because basically if there's no self-criticism against your own side, like how is it going to be any kind of progress? So the first story that I'm going to talk about, about the cringe of the climate change movement, is obviously suicide because why not? More recently, a kid in the United Kingdom actually committed suicide because of climate change. This is the type of nonsense that I was talking about in my last video. Like, ultimately, I do believe that kids should actually learn about climate change. I believe they should learn about evolution and any scientific fact. However, I think there's a big difference between educating them about something and indoctrinating them. Like, I know for a fact that, of course, many religions, like Christianity, they basically tell people that if you're, like, a sinner and don't repent, you go to hell. And also, of course, there were various people in Christianity who basically said that the apocalypse is happening. This is, like, the climate change equivalent of that. Like, I don't believe that, of course, kids should actually worry about, like, <laughs> climate change that much because, ultimately... I do in fact believe that kids should be kids. Like, I don't believe that kids are old enough or wise enough or smart enough to actually do activism and to protest against climate change. And I also know for a fact that kids are actually much more prone to anxiety. And so when you keep on saying that we're gonna die in 10 years, they're actually gonna believe that you're gonna die in 10 years. And by the way, I am not joking either. Like the Democrats actually said that if you don't vote for them in 10 years, we're all gonna die and stuff. So it's not me actually making a straw man about this whole entire thing. So yes, do in fact teach kids about climate change. Do in fact teach kids about the science behind evolution and so on. However, do not drive a kid to a point of suicide. That to me is scary. It's so scary that there's actually parents who are actually driving people to suicide because of climate change. So please, calm down the rhetoric, do not be alarmist, and actually teach the facts about climate change and not fearmonger a kid. Speaking about Christianity and organized religion, like basically there was a funeral in Switzerland where a group of people actually gathered together and actually cry and moan about the glaciers that were melting. And <laughs> it's just so creepy, that image that I see right now. It's just so freaking creepy. Look guys, I don't believe that climate change is a religion. As a matter of fact, I don't believe that most scientific theories are in fact a religion. However, the other sides do in fact believe that climate change is a religion. And of course, when you do stuff like this, it's actually going to make people much more justified in their belief. Like, do not actually make funerals for climate change. Like, it's very creepy, it's very cult-like. Like, why the hell are you making a funeral for climate change? That does not make any sense to me. Like, people need to actually, you know, fix the issue by actually finding measures to prevent the melter of the glaciers for climate change instead of hosting a funeral expressing like tears or something like that. There was a guy from Spain called Pedro Sanchez. Now Pedro Sanchez is actually the president of Spain. 
And what happened was that basically he managed to compare climate change to gender. He basically said that uh, climate change is actually a gendered issue because somehow it affects the women and girls way more than the guys. This is what I kind of meant in my last video when I said that she should not bring politics into like climate change. Yes, I do in fact understand that I guess like making laws against climate change is actually political. It's a political process in governments. But when I say do not put politics into climate change, what I mean is stuff like reparations and gender ideology. Like what the hell does reparations have to do with climate change? And by the way, it's not me, me making up stuff, by the way. It's actually a real fact in the site. If you look up like the whole entire operations and also like the objectives of the kids protesting climate change, they actually mention reparations as the reasons against climate change. Like what does gender ideology, what does reparations, what does any of this political stuff have to do with climate change? Yes, fight climate change through legislation, but don't put your personal ideology, your personal politics for climate change if it's not even related against climate change. In my last video, I also mentioned that basically like, there were like a bunch of kids who were crying about climate change, who were getting anxiety over climate change. And of course, like one of the girls was actually from Australia. I just don't know if they're gonna do anything. And I just, I'm so concerned with the fact that if they're not gonna change anything, then what's gonna happen to humankind? What's gonna happen to our, what's gonna happen to the whole world? Now it turns out, since I made that video, this is actually evidence of that Australian girl being an actress. Like people on Twitter actually found like the uh, background of that girl. And it turns out that she's an actress and also a model. <laughs> it's so crazy. Look guys, you don't need fake actors to prove your point about climate change. Use actual, legit, authentic people like scientists or whatever to prove your point for climate change. Like, why would you use like a child actress to actually prove your point? I just don't find it to be really legit or authentic. One final thing I want to cover for this video is of course this photograph that I saw on the internet. Like, basically, it turns out that the Swedish girl actually had parents who are part of Antifa. And as everybody know, Antifa is actually a violent organization that attack ordinary people that they consider to be far right. Like, look, I understand that, of course, like, there are some people who say, yeah, kids should actually stay out of school, they should actually protest because they're concerned, but I'm not really sure about that. Like, mostly because it seems as though that she's not actually, you know, motivated by her own personal convictions. It seems as though that she's actually being used by her parents for a political agenda. They're pushing their politics about Antifa onto the girl. So what makes you think that she's actually authentic about what she actually believes in? Like, in general, I don't like the idea of kids being used for political activism. It does not matter if it's, like, on the far left or the far right or the regular left or the regular right. Like, I think that kids should not be taken advantage of and that kids do not have, the men like, the mental capability and, of course, the knowledge to make such a form of institutions. But I don't understand, like, how anyone could think that her actions are actually legit and actually motivated by her own personal convictions when she's being used to push Antifa, so I don't know. Speaking about the Swedish girl, I find it so odd and bizarre that she went to the United Nations to give her speech and actually sued various countries for not acting against climate change. However, none of the countries that she actually sued actually include India and China. And the main reason why I'm pointing that out is because basically India and China are notorious for having like high levels of pollution so why did she sue these other countries but not India and China the motives for this kind of stuff is kind of questionable to me anyway that's all the stories that I want to share with you guys I think I made my point on why I believe that the climate change movement at least right now is very cringy it seems as though that there are fake actors as you guys saw it seems as though that the girl from Sweden 
is being used to push like a political agenda. The kids are being used to be pushed like a political agenda. There's also the fact that of course like a lot of the stuff does not seem legit. It seems as though that the whole entire thing that they're doing right now with the twerking and of course the funeral stuff, it all comes across as very creepy. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. Of course, I know that not everybody is like this. You don't have to tell me this. But again, like I said earlier, when there's smoke, there's fire. You have to take out the smoke first before the fire spread across the whole entire forest. Take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.